In Supercross, it can get wet, sticky, and sometimes downright muddy. Because the riders can't wipe their lens with a towel or their hand while racing, goggle companies have developed systems called tear-offs and roll-offs. This will ensure that the rider can see clearly while on the track. A tear-off, quite simply, is a thin polyester material that mimics your lens. It copies the same shape. Tear-offs evolve from a single polyester sheet to a laminated stack. The lamination process is quite simply glue. You take these really thin layers, and you glue each layer together, and it acts like it's one lens now. Prior to that, you had slightly thicker tear-offs. When you stack them is when you create the visual acuity issues, your ability to decipher an image clearly. If you can imagine having a bunch of fingerprints on your sunglasses or your reading glasses, it seems foggy to look through. That's essentially what happens with these tear-offs. So we've loaded a, an air brake goggle here with seven non-laminated tear-offs and seven laminated tear-offs, and we're gonna show you visually how dramatic that difference is. When you laminate the layers together, you reduce the amount of light dispersion between all the layers, and that's, again, the true benefit of the laminated tear-off, is removing that light dispersion. So when conditions get very extreme, riders will often opt for a roll-off system, like a tear-off, but you use thin film in, in the form of a roll. Load one side of a goggle in a, what we call a canister. That's your feed side, and then you'll pull this film across the lens, and this is your uptake side. So we've adjusted this ratio here, and I put a, a Sharpie marker there, where one pull equals one clearing. With a tear-off system, you're getting up to 21 clearings. With a roll-off system, you're getting over 30. One speck of mud right in front of your eye. You can mess with your timing, your rhythm, so you want to get that off the goggles as quickly as possible. 